Cyberbullying is any type of harassing, threatening, demeaning, or embarrassing another person online. Typically, this is done through mean comments, online rumors, and even sexual remarks. Cyberbullying can happen through social media, phones, messenger, and chats, and websites. When cyberbullying occurs, there is a victim and a perpetrator. The victim is the person getting bullied, the perpetrator is the person doing the bullying. Seven out of 10 people experience cyberbullying before they hit the age 18. The most common type of cyberbullying is online harassment. It has been reported that 22.5% have been cyberbullied through mean comments. 35% of people reported that they sent a screenshot of someone's status or photo to laugh at them. 61% of teens who reported being bullied say it was because of their appearance. 56% of online harassment victims reported that they have been harassed through or on Facebook. Girls are more likely than boys to be both victims and perpetrators of cyberbullying. Only 6% of boys reported being bullied online, compared to 15% of girls, particularly older age girls 12 to 17. 41% of older girls reported experiencing some form of online harassment. Perpetrators of cyberbullying reported 35% had sent a screenshot of someone's status or photo to laugh at them in a group chat. 25% had trolled someone in an online game. 17% liked or shared something online that openly mocks another person. 16% had done something to suddenly annoy somebody they didn't like online. 12% had sent a nasty text message privately or publicly. 5% had created a fake profile used to annoy or upset another person. Principals in schools also reported an increase in cyberbullying from the years 2010 to 2016. Reports state that the percentage of schools with principals reporting daily and weekly cyberbullying increased from 7.9% in 2010 to 12% in 2016. Studies also indicated that the percentage of schools with principals reporting monthly cyberbullying increased from 9.4% in 2010 to 14.9% in 2016. The last report states the percentage of schools with principals reporting occasional cyberbullying increased from 45% in 2010 to 54% in 2016. There has been a prevalent increase in bullying in schools. Since cyberbullying has become an ongoing issue, 49 states have enacted bullying prevention laws. These regulations require schools to include specific de definitions of harassment, intimidation, and bullying. Graduated consequences and remedial actions should be specified. Specific procedures for reporting should be in place. Specific procedures for investigating situations regarding bullying should be in place, and procedures for preventing cyberbullying should be in place. So, what can we do in schools to prevent cyberbullying? We can debunk per misperceptions about digital behavior, build empathy and understanding around cyberbullying, teach online safety skills, and equip our young people with strategies to reject digital abuse.